Oh, hello. Are you serving Lord Megatron? No, I'm not. You lied to me. No, I promise I don't. Oh, I knew it. Howdy, roundabout, all you BFDers, and welcome to another video. As you can tell by the title, this is another movie review with just Jake. But, it is one that I was very excited for. Brobots fighting the bad guys. I can't remember when this movie came out, but I'm pretty sure it was two weeks ago, which actually makes this video irrelevant. But, we have to have a video every Tuesday, and don't tell anybody, but I kind of forgot. Now, to be fair, I am currently moving. Also, to be fair, check back in a couple weeks for another video that might give you some more information on all of this. Also, please excuse my bed that just has my camera case on. Okay, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Oh boy, going into this, I was a little bit more excited. I love Transform. I am a huge fan of the Michael Bay Transformers and the Bumblebee film that came out a few years ago was not that. This movie, Rise of the Beasts, is also not that. The whole time, and maybe I should just be saving this for last, but the whole time while I was watching this film, I kind of just wished I was watching a Michael Bay's Transformers film. And those are inarguably bad, more or less, ranging from five down. But they are very iconic, and they are awesome. Explosions, big robots fighting, everything. Just action-packed to the brim. And let's not forget, my name is Optimus Prime. Calling all Autobots. I mean, that's that's awesome. All of the... That one time he busted out of the barn going, Here I am! Psh, psh, one of the most epic moments in cinematic history for me. And in Rise of the Beasts, that was missing. There were still a lot of cool moments, sure, but there was a severe lack of massive explosions and big robots fighting. Well, that's why I go to a Transformers movie. Now, don't get me wrong, the story, at least as it's cohesive and makes sense, is way better. There are a few bits of exposition, but more or less, all of that is played out. Our main character, Noah Diaz, has motivation, although a bit contrived, and how he meets Mirage, who is our bumblebee in this universe, or at least in this film, is also a bit contrived. His brother is sick because he's sick and he meets Mirage by stealing from an auction because he needs money. Those two things do coincide, but not in the same way that Sam needs a first car. And that's the one he likes that draws him to him. And so there's a little bit of a distinction there. But Unicron, I mean, that's in character. And I don't know if this was a new bad guy or not scourge was very cool although i did like the one that was in four a little bit more he seemed a bit more uh devastating you could say but all that said the way that all these characters interact and the way that they interact with their world makes a lot more sense everything besides those couple uh, introductory moments everything flows and makes sense the score which has been a pivotal part of all transformers media going all the way back to gen one just isn't really present here. There's a lot of music going on all the time, but nothing really stands out, which is a bit of a bummer because everybody loves to hear that. Which we do hear at the end, but only for like a minute. That kind of sucks. But again, it does well just not what I wanted really and that's just and that sucks to say because you know we don't want to judge a film by what we want but this is a piece of entertainment and if we're not being entertained well you know it falls flat editing was fine there were no jarring issues so all that was good character design 
in the past, in the Michael Bay films, I know, I'm trying to shoot me, shut up, ah! In the past, the Transformers have been very complex, which makes it hard to look at. Now, these two films, Bumblebee and Rise of the Beasts, are pretty directly inspired by Gen 1 and that sort of first string of the lore. They look good. They look very clean, and there's not all this complex, tiny moving bits that have been on them before. And so you're able to read these characters a bit more, able to see emotion, able to really see their face moving and their body parts moving. Uh, and the designs were cool. I mean, they looked awesome. So, you know, Bumblebee pulling in with that, you know, Camaro look, where previously he was a Volkswagen Beetle, which I'm not a fan of that design. I like the Camaro a lot more, especially the classic Camaro. And the Mirage of Porsche 911, I mean, come on. One of the most desired sports cars in the realm at that time. Optimus, I prefer the longer like truck style. It's a bit more beefier. It feels like, ah! But I understand the the flat front still looks good. RC looks great. We didn't really get to see a lot of her motorcycle form, which is okay, but her actual design looked good. Now, Wheeljack. I don't know what they were thinking. This guy looks like a freaking nerd. I don't know why they made him an Italian nerd. Wheeljack looked cool when he was like that space car thing. Now he's just like a pale pink Volkswagen van. I don't know what was up with that. He didn't really do anything either. So it was like, why is he here? Name drop, I guess. The Maximals. Honestly, I thought they looked great. We've only seen them a few times uh, with like the original Beast Wars stuff, and then I think the Netflix Beast Wars stuff, but this by far they look the best. Again, clean animation, but they also have hair and like feathers and stuff, which is kind of weird, but it worked well. There was this nice flow and sort of, there were only certain parts that had fur. Yeah. My biggest criticism of this film, besides like it not being Michael Bay, is that, and this is sort of what we're entering with this age, and this is sort of how it's been going for a lot of these blockbusters. There's too much going on. And I don't mean plot wise, it's a very simple plot. Find the key, get it, stop them from getting it, go home. I mean, that's super simple. <coughs> the problem is that we're introducing like 10 characters, maybe 12, 10 or 12 characters that all need screen time. And that's a two hour film. I mean, that's a lot of screen time. But when you have to divide it up between 12 characters, I mean, at most, that's like 10 minutes per character, which is not a lot. Obviously, Noah Diaz gets a lot of screen time and Mirage gets a lot of screen time and so does Optimus Prime. Bumblebee gets like next to nothing. Wheeljack gets even less than him. RC gets a good amount, but not really enough for us to sort of understand her character. Optimus Primal gets a decent amount and Airazor gets a probably more than Optimus Primal, because she's sort of the main Maximal. But the other ones, Cheetor, Rhinox, and whatever else, nothing, bro. They don't even come in until after. And and they look cool. I like seeing them fight and all that stuff. But, you know, with a limited amount of screen time, it's hard to get everybody in. That's probably my biggest complaint, other than, honestly, not enjoying it as much as I wanted to. Which sucks because it probably is the best Transformers film, live action speaking, maybe other than Bumblebee. But it's like going into a Fast and Furious movie and not seeing people drive cars. That's what you go into it for, that's what you want. And when you don't get that, even if you're sacrificing like good story and plot, it just doesn't feel the same. And ultimately that's what this film was. It felt out of place, which sucks. Rating time. I'm the only BFDer that went and watched this film, and probably the only BFDer that will watch this film. Which means I don't have to be sad about not having Chris or Kyle. This is gonna be me. I'm gonna give this a 6.5, a, a 6.5 out of 10. I really wish I could give it a higher number. I do. I wanted it to be at least a seven and a half. But I guess when it comes to Transformers, you can't have the best of both worlds. So, 
If you like Transformers, drop a like. If you don't like Transformers, drop a like. If you agree with what I have to say, or you don't agree, or you just want to call me dumb and tell me why Blue is good, drop a comment. And I've actually got my degree here somewhere. Give me a second. And if you want, ah! and if you want a film degree like me, I'm just gonna hold this mic now because it's too long. See, look. I hope there's no information. No, it's not. If you want a degree like me, a film degree, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. Otherwise, Scourge is gonna come after you and eat your entire world like Unicron. Ah! Goodbye.